The same-sex marriage debate is something that's been on our society's mind for a while now, and it's, it seems to be pervasive, it's ubiquitous, it's, you can't get away from it, it's everywhere. And I think one of the things that it's important to talk about that is rarely talked about is what's happening in, as, as we change the definition of marriage. What are we changing it from, and what are we changing it to? We're changing it from the idea of marriage, which has always been around throughout society, throughout history, the idea of marriage being founded on a bodily union, to marriage being founded on an emotional union. What is a bodily union? Why is, why is marriage founded on that? Everyone would agree, no matter what, no matter who you are, really, that uh, marriage is a union of persons, right? Well, what are persons, and how do they how do they unite? Our society doesn't look at it this way, but I think it's fundamental truth that most people would would agree with it when they just give it some thought. That our bodies are us; they're not something extrinsic to ourselves that are real persons, you know, used to manipulate objects and used sort of as machines, like we're ghosts and machines, but our body is actually me. Like if I slap someone in the face, they don't say, please don't touch my property like that. They say, don't hit me. That's me you're touching there. So our bodies are really part of us. So if we want to come to together as persons, if we want to unite, our bodies have to unite. How does that happen? How do we unite bodily? It seems that only happens in the sexual act, in sexual intercourse. It doesn't happen in any other circumstance because only in sexual intercourse does a person with another person become one organism? Can't happen in any other any other area of life. I'm a total person in terms of respiration. I'm a total person in terms of locomotion. I don't need anyone's help to do those other things. I'm I'm one organism for those. But in terms of reproduction, I'm only half the story. I'm half of an organism. I need someone else to complete that picture. So when I unite with someone in sexual intercourse, I'm make becoming one flesh with that person. I'm becoming one organism. That can't happen through any other type of sexual act, whether it's oral sex or anal sex or any other kind of sex play that, that can happen. It's only sexual intercourse that that happens in. So it also becomes pretty apparent that that can only happen between a man and a woman. It can't happen between two men, it can't happen between six men, it can't happen between you know two men and three women. It can only happen between one man and one woman. And that's what a, that's a bodily union that marriage has always been founded on, upon the, sex, the sexual act. But now we're changing it to the emotional, an emotional union, where I love this person and I feel this way about this person so that I, sh I should be able to get married no matter what sex we are, no matter what we can, no matter if we can unite bodily or not. But that's a mistake because I mean, I can have an emotional union with just about anyone. I can have an emotional union with my mother. I can have an emotional union with my sister or with my brother or with my dad, I can with, with anybody. And it doesn't have to involve sex. It doesn't have to involve children. It doesn't have to involve, I can have an emotional union literally with any amount of people for any amount of time at any point in, in my life. And it can, it can end and stop no matter how I want it to. So how can we, how can we found marriage upon such a, it basically, Make, it renders marriage irrelevant. It re reduces it to an absurdity because marriage is any relationship. Um, so this is what we're seeing the definition changing from, from a bodily union to an emotional union. And it's damaging because society is telling us now that love comes through feelings. It's told us this for a while. But love comes through feelings, not through choice, not through acts. Do we, do we, we don't found marriage upon acts. We found it upon feelings, which we all know, you know, burn bright one day and are, are gone the next day. So this is a very fundamental shift from a bodily union to an emotional union that's rarely talked about, but I would point you to a book, it's called What is Marriage by Robert George, where this is really explored very well, um, and it's really the foundation of all of it, even beyond kids or any of the, the procreative aspects of marriage.